Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you so much for watching today. So I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on putting a card bag together. So it's to house the 3D display card that I made for 25th wedding anniversary. To just show you the card. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, I'll just link that in the top right here and you can catch up on that. So no specialty dies are required to make this card. Um, it's all sort of my own measurements. It's a larger display and I, I go through it step by step with you. And then in this tutorial, it's a um, step by step measurement for the gift bag. So it's sort of quite boxy because that's the, the sort of the style I wanted to go for. And I've got these lovely ribbon handles and then you've got this gorgeous aperture as you can see inside to the card. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to be using some A3 white cardstock. Ideally you want 12 by 12, but I only have A3 in my um, in my stash. So I've got two pieces that measure 12 by just over 11 and a half. And along the 12 inch side, score at 9, 11 and a half. And then rotate and then you want to score at 10. So I'm slightly sort of short here in terms of the bottom, but they will overlap and the card is quite light. So I think I can get away with not having that 12 by 12 length. So fold and burnish along the score lines. Like so. And then we're going to do some trimming. So we've got the half inch tab here on the right hand side. And we're going to work along the bottom. So you just want to cut up to that first score line. Just freeing up all those pieces on the bottom edge. Then rotate and remove this end rectangle. Like so. And then just cut a little wedge into the smaller rectangle. So, and then just rotate and get a wedge into this tab. So I've gone ahead and I prepared the additional panel. Now I've cut an aperture into this piece. This is completely optional. You don't have to do that. And you don't necessarily need sort of um, any nesting dies. You could cut a rectangle using your, you know, your trimmer or craft knife and a ruler. So to get this frame, I cut the largest Creative Craft Products filigree border nesting rectangles. Now I don't have any nesting rectangles to go alongside this. So what I did was cut the largest one. I flipped it over and then from the sort of the curved edge, I measured half an inch. So I just took a pencil and marked half an inch along this edge, the top, the bottom and the other side. And then I just use my craft knife and ruler then to cut out that frame. Once I cut that, I drew around the inside of this frame to give me a guide. And then again, using my craft knife and ruler, I just cut around the outside of that to give me the aperture. I attached the acetate to the frame piece and then attached it to the bag. I've done similar in a previous wedding card video. Um, so if you sort of want to follow the process, um, I can link that video just here in the top right. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. So next I want to attach these pieces together. So I'm just running some quick grab glue along this half inch tab that we created. And then just place that over the top. Just make sure that this edge or the score line here on this bottom edge marries up. So you've got a nice even box. And then flip it over, press that down with your bone folder, fold the other side back. 
and I'm going to add quick grab glue again along this half inch tab and just fold the other side over so it should all perfectly match up next I'm going to bring in my Kalal glue and I'm going to add it to the inside tabs I'm going to fold the back one up first hopefully you're seeing that okay it's quite large for me to just sort of stand it up so pop that side down and then I'm going to add some Kalal glue along the edge here here I should say not here <laughs> and then just pop that down Just flip it up then and just go inside with a ruler or your bone folder and just press those edges down so they can grab. So I think the simple frame on the front, because you've got that aperture looking into the card and you can see all the beautiful floral um, details and the, you know, the 25, I'm going to leave it quite plain. It's entirely up to you if you want to go to town, add lots of decoration then you know please do it's all down to personal preference at the end of the day so i've just added a blob of glue just inside there and then just press that down with my silicone to trim this down a little bit and then do the same then for the other side I'm just doing this by eye and probably coming in about an inch and then I'll just marry it up on the opposite side so there's the finished gift bag it's a bit large to get on camera I'll try and address just sit now so you hopefully can see it a bit better so just about get it all in and then I've got these really lovely handles so I hope you've enjoyed this quick um, tutorial from me today as I said this could be adjusted you can add a lid to this you could taper in the sides by adding a score line um, I want to leave mine sort of quite open and quite sort of boxy but there's sort of many ways in which you can jazz this up decorate it you know however you want and you know it's great for those larger display cards if the filigree border dies are still available, I'll link those in the description box below. If you've enjoyed today's video, it'd be really appreciated if you could hit that like button. It does help and support my channel to grow. And if you're not a subscriber, maybe you would consider subscribing. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely crafty day and I'll see you in the next one.